Fire is critical to help maintain healthy landscapes by contributing to renewal and regeneration of the forest ecosystem. In recent years, forest fires and drought have caused serious cumulative impacts in the Northwest Territories. Cumulative impacts are changes in the environment caused by human developments, such as a road, and natural changes, like forest fires, that add up over space and time. In 2014, fires burned 3 million hectares of forest, and recent low water levels affected hydroelectric power generation, barge transportation, and access to hunting and fishing. Mike Pesarek is a professor with Brock University and is conducting a project to look at the effects of forest fires in the North Slave region. Our study looks at how often forest fires occur to see if they are happening more frequently with recent climate warming. We're also exploring whether the recent drier conditions have occurred in the past and if these conditions will have consequences for future water availability in the North Slave region. Satellite data indicates that the number of fires across the Northwest Territories each year is increasing, especially since the early 2000s. However, existing records of temperature, precipitation and fire in the Northwest Territories only go back about 70 years. This doesn't provide us with enough information about whether fires are becoming more frequent over the long term. Our sampling will be able to show an almost 200-year timeline of how precipitation varies in this region. We're collecting three types of samples. Cores from older trees to measure their growth. Lake bottom mud to understand how climate, vegetation, and forest fire frequency has changed. And bugs and water from streams to understand what changes happen to water chemistry after a fire. So far, results show a number of things. Tree growth depends a lot on how much rain falls, especially in the month of June. And the number of different types of bugs found in streams flowing through recently burned areas is lower than in streams flowing through non-burned areas. Once completed, project results will be provided to communities, governments, and the public to make good wildlife, water, and forest management decisions. Mike's research is partly funded by the NWT Cumulative Impact Monitoring Program, or NWT SIMP, which is one of several environmental monitoring programs managed by the Government of the Northwest Territories, Department of Environment and Natural Resources. The program provides important information about cumulative impacts to communities and northern decision makers.